Hi, Claudia here from Create with Claudia. Thanks so much for joining me. So I went shopping the other day. We have a little store in town. It's one of those stores where everything's a dollar. And I had fun and I did a lot of shopping for my quilt studio and craft quilt slash craft studio. And I'm going to bring those to you today. I think I bought about 44 items. And um, I love those stores where everything's a dollar because let's face it, we all love to save money. So anyway, stick around and make sure you check out all of the fun things I bought. As always, I'd love it if you'd hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much. I always love new subscribers. And I am on social media, at Create with Claudia. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and sometimes, very rarely, I'm on TikTok just for the fun of it. Um, so check that out too. Thanks so much, and enjoy the video. Before I show you all the items, I do want to point out one thing. I know that a lot of these are no-brainers, and you probably already are using a number of these, but you never know, and it's nice to have a refresher. That's why I did this video. I tend to go into a dollar store. I know what I want, maybe one or two items. I get them, and I go, and I don't really take the time to look around the aisles. And it's just um, it's a nice reminder that there are a lot of things available there uh, for folks on a budget, or um, maybe you're not on a budget and you, just, you don't like spending a lot of money on things. So. So the first thing I wanted to show you that I got was uh, in my dollar store haul was a pair of scissors. And yes, I'm always needing scissors. Mine always get dull and um, or they disappear. I don't know how they disappear, but they do. So scissors, they're a dollar a piece. I mean, you can't really beat that. Okay. Okay, the next item on my list, and I found these, and I absolutely fell in love with them, and I'm going to use them in my quilt room and in my kitchen, and these are, and this the black one might not uh, show up, these are cookie cutters. I use cookie cutters. If you've ever seen some of my um, uh, tutorials, I use them a lot for applique templates. They're great shapes. You can get all kinds of shapes. Now, these are fangs uh, because it's Halloween, coming up to Halloween here, but cookie cutters are something you can get. The next item on my list is gardening gloves. Here's a nice pretty pair of purple ones that I use when I'm doing some machine quilting. A couple of my items also appeared on a video that I did on house, household items that um, you can use when you're quilting. And this is one of those. And these are cutting boards. They're really thin, really flexible, and they're really good for applique shapes for, for cutting out your templates. Okay, here's one. It's a good one for design. It's a great tool for using for design. It's painter's tape. Now, word of warning here, anything you're going to put on your quilt that's sticky, like glue, and I'll have some glue later, or painter's tape, test it first on your fabric. You don't want anything to stain or, or tear it or anything like that. But it's really good, especially if you're basting your quilt on the floor. I like to tape the corners down, and painter's tape is really good because it usually pulls off really nicely. All right, here's another one, lint roller. I love lint rollers in my studio. Um, I have, if you quilt, you have threads everywhere and this pulls them off of your clothes, of your quilt, or whatever you're doing. So always have a lint roller on hand. Now this was a viewer tip, and I have a couple here that are viewer tips, and I'll put that, it'll put a little notice on there for you. Um, this is a pot holder, and I thought this was really a good idea, especially for somebody who travels a lot. Um, it it's, serves as a good ironing surface if you have one of those little mini uh, irons that you travel with, um, as long as it doesn't get too hot, but you definitely want an insulated one, but a pot holder works in a, in a pinch. All right, now I bought this whole little set because I thought it was really cute, but... Um, and again, it was a dollar. But I always have toothpicks around my quilt studio as well. Um, sometimes, especially when I'm crafting something with glue, I need a toothpick to get something, maybe a, a piece of fuzz that uh, got in there, or you're trying to pull out a corner, or a piece of paper, anything like that. But toothpicks are something handy to have around the studio. Makeup brush, and I use that to clean my sewing machine. Okay, I always have tweezers around my studio as well. I use them in crafts, quilting, great to pull out things, great to help you sort of steady something. Another thing you can use is sandpaper, and I'll show you how to use that. It's really handy, especially if you're an appliqueer. Now these are definitely a seasonal item, but pool noodles, they come in handy for all kinds of crafts and quilting, and I will show you how. I've made wreaths out of them. But in quilting specifically, you can use them to roll up your quilts. Now 
Now one thing not every quilter uses, but I, I use it sometimes depending on the fabric I'm using, uh, is spray starch. And they can you can get that at the dollar store as well. It's handy to have around. It, it lasts for uh, quite some time. I have a pretty old bottle somewhere, but I, I needed to throw it out because it was getting jammed. But spray starch is something you can get at the dollar store. Okay, here's another one, and this was another uh, viewer tip. This is actually one I had on one of my, um, on another video that I did for uh, household items you can use for quilting. And I did get this at the dollar store, so this is actually I didn't buy last the last couple of days. I bought it a while ago, but it's rubber shelving. You can cut off pieces. It grows great under foot pedals or something like that. It's, it's really handy to have around, and it's lightweight, and it, you can just shove it in a corner and not worry about it until you need it. Okay, glue sticks. Now glue sticks are handy for applique, that sort of thing. Again, my warning here is just test it before you use it. You don't want to ruin some fabric using a, a glue stick that might stain it or something like that. Craft glue is another one you can find. Uh, just love this stuff and it's really good for crafts. And if you are using it on fabric though, again, I'll warn you one more time, uh, don't uh, uh, test it first. Test your fabric first with the glue. But this is, uh, the glue is really handy to have around. Safety pins are another thing that you can find at the dollar store. They're great for basting quilts, that sort of thing. So uh, give those a try. I will say they are not as thick as some other uh, safety pins you can buy. So they bend a little bit more easily, but they're great for basting quilts. Another really handy thing to have around your craft studio or your quilt studio are binder clips. Uh, you can use them in a number of ways and I'll show you those. Uh, here's another viewer tip for you that a number of people said they use, and I tried it and I love it. And these are these um, hooks with a sticky back, and I have one on the side of my machine to hook scissors on. It works perfectly, so uh, try those out. I also like to have paper clips around the studio. They are very helpful when I'm marking my rows when I'm designing a quilt, and a lot of you're even sewing one together from somebody else's pattern. Um, it's a good way you don't poke a hole in the fabric, and you just clip a row number on it, and it works it works like a charm. All right, so we're ready for the next section, and that is organization and storage. So here are my ideas for that from the dollar store. I really like this shower caddy, it caught my eye, so I'm going to be using that to hang it up on the wall and put some thread in. So we had the wall shower caddy, and now I'm going to show you they have these little, I love these little mini ones. I live in a college town, so I wonder if they have a lot of these, I don't know. Every dollar store seems to have different things, but this is great for tabletop storage. Jars are a great way. I love clear jars for storage. You can see what's in it, buttons, all sorts of things like that. Um, so, and you can pick those up. They have all shapes and sizes at the dollar stores. Um, these are awesome little containers. These have a magnet on the back, so if you have like a, um, a metal surface, maybe a refrigerator or something like that, and you can put them on. Um, or I have a whiteboard that is magnetic, so I can put those in and put a few pins and things like that. It keeps stuff off of my work surface. And I saw they had a pair of these, and, and um, so I bought those for my studio. Hardware compartments are always handy around the quilt studio, and they had a couple different kinds this time when I visited uh, my local dollar store. Uh, I like to put little things in it. I do some embellishment on some of my quilts, so I put little beads and charms in them. They're really handy to have, but I can also put other uh, sorts of tools and things in them. Um, so I had this one that's uh, a bigger one. This would be good, like if you had colored beads, you could put it in. And then these are a little bit taller and a little bit, and they're individual, so you could put other things in that as well for your for your quilt studio. Here's another one that I had in my video for household items you can use, and I picked it one up uh, just the other day at the dollar store, and I always have one in my studio. It's a napkin holder. They're handy to have, especially for storing uh, quilt rulers and that sort of thing. Hangers 
are another great thing you can pick up at the dollar store uh, for your quilting studio. Uh, they usually come in mul packs, multiple packs, uh, so you can put the rest in your closet, that sort of thing. But I'll show you how you can use that. Um, I use it to hang up quilt blocks, that sort of thing, stay a little bit organized. These are little retractable badge holders. Um, and they are surprisingly handy. I have this little pair of scissors that I'm always losing, and I use that. Uh, somebody, actually, there was another viewer tip. Somebody suggested I do this. I can clip it onto my shirt. I can snap in the scissors, and I'm good to go, and I will not lose my scissors, because I am always looking for them. So this is a good one. This is pretty much a no-brainer, but I tell you, my dollar store, they have all shapes and sizes of these great plastic boxes. They're a dollar a piece. You can use them. This is a, I like the rectangular size. They had some square ones, that sort of thing. They're ideal for uh, storing quilt supplies. Here's another good storage idea, and that is uh, zip top bags. Uh, you can get a box of them. You can use them in the kitchen and then save a couple for your quilt room. This is another idea that was on my video for um, from household items that you could use in quilting, and that is hair bands. And I think it was a viewer tip. I'm pretty sure it was a viewer tip. I can't remember now. Um, but these are those little small elastic headbands that you can find at the dollar store, and they are perfect for wrapping around a bobbin so that you know how the bobbin un un unrolls the thread, it gets all uh, tangled and everything if you don't wrap it up or don't protect it with something. And you can buy fancy protectors. But that hair elastic works just fine and it looks pretty too. So you can color organize them if you want to. So that's a great idea and that um, they had all kinds of colors at the, at the dollar store when I was there. The last item I have in organization and storage are rubber bands. Um, you always need rubber bands around the house. You can get them. Um, and they are also great for just wrapping. Maybe you want to roll up a bunch of quilt blocks that you have and you just rubber band them together so they don't get lost. But it's something handy to have around. You sort of forget sometimes about some of these things and they're nice to have. And when you do need them, you have to run around the house and then you realize you don't have them. So um, it's, it's nice to have some of these things sitting around sometimes. So I'm at the last section now, and this is the design section. And believe it or not, you can find some things for your quilt design and even some things to use in your quilts, and that's what I'm going to show you right now. Crayons are a great thing to have around the house uh, for designing. And if you have kids, uh, let's face it, you're always going to have crayons around your house. But if you don't, um, buy a pack. They're great to have. They're fun, and it's fun to color sometimes. It's relaxing, so they're, they're a good item to have. Now here's an item that I was surprised to see at my uh, dollar store, and I, when I did see them, I scooped up a, a couple uh, notepads of them, and that is graph paper. Graph paper isn't always so easy to find, and um, I use it. I have a couple pads. I have them, in, you know, uh, in different drawers around the house. I do when I get an idea. I like to sketch it right away so I don't forget it. So that's why it's handy to have the graph paper. And along with the graph paper, colored pencils. Again, another one, if you have kids, I guarantee you, you I am 99% sure if you have children, you have colored pencils around the house. But if you don't, buy a quick pack. It'll help you out with your quilt design. <laughs> now, here's a fun one. It's a little bit uh, different, and it's bandanas. And normally, I wouldn't use bandana fabric in a quilt. It's pretty thin, and actually, this I don't even think is 100% is cotton. I need to double check that. I thought it was when I bought it. And you do want to make sure that you're that it is cotton, the, the bandanas that you buy, but they come in all sorts of really pretty colors. And if you stick some uh, uh, fusible stabilizer on the back, some nice cotton stabilizer on the back, it would make a really nice, uh, maybe a picnic quilt or something like that. Um, I, I'm not saying, again, this is your fanciest fabric you can get, but hey, I think a bandana cute is really cute. I've seen a couple, and I may have to make one next summer. Like I said before, I do like to embellish some of my quilts, not all of them, but every once in a while I like to do a fun pro project like that. And I like buttons, and I also use them in some of my other crafts. And uh, sure enough, Dollar Tree had some buttons, so I bought those because I, you know, you can never have too many buttons. <laughs> I'll probably never use most of them, but um, I had to pick up a pack, and these were nice and red and bright and fun. One thing I like to do is I always like to have a little notebook about like this size, maybe even a little bit smaller in my bag. 
I like to have those so if I have an idea, and I'm always getting ideas if I'm outside, I'll say, oh yeah, that would be a nice idea for a quilt or something like that. I like to write it down and sometimes I'll do a sketch, but a notebook, and that's always, I mean, you know, you can get a ton of those at the dollar store for a dollar. Here's another idea that, honestly, I was surprised to see. They had beads, so, and I love to have beads of all different shapes and sizes. So when I saw these, I had to buy them. They're all, they're really pretty, and you have uh, five different colors. They're perfect, uh, again, for embellishing quilts or other sorts of crafts. Yep, they had yarn. I was excited to see that. I don't always see it. They have some really pretty yarn sometimes, uh, depending on when you can uh, when you go. But this pink sort of stood out to me. Again, another fun embellishment for a certain type of design if you embellish some of your quilts, um, and also great for other crafts as well. Another really useful item was a uh, ribbon. I use that also sometimes in my quilting and definitely in my crafts. So this is a, a nice one to have. This is some pretty purple uh, fabric ribbon, and they had that. This was another viewer tip, and I really like this one. This is a tablecloth, and this is tulips on it, but on the back side it has flannel on it, and um, the viewer tapes hers up to the wall and uses it as a design wall, and I think that's a, a brilliant idea. So I'm gonna try that. Just make sure when you get the tablecloth that it has the flannel backing, because if it's plastic, it's gonna fall right, or the fabric's gonna fall right, right off. Sticking with the idea of a design wall, I found this at our, uh, the local dollar store. It's a baby blanket. It's just a little one. It's about, I'm guessing, uh, 32 by 32. I didn't measure it. Uh, this is ideal if you're traveling and you like to quilt when you travel and you need a design wall. It's just a little piece. Uh, you can stick up a couple blocks uh, or pieces of fabric and it's perfect for that. So that's another idea. So that was my haul from my uh, dollar store trip the other day. It's always fun to go shopping and spend a little bit of money. I found 44 items that were helpful for me, and I hope some of them helped you out and gave you some new ideas for your studio. As always, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. And I'm on social media at Create with Claudia. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and very rarely, sometimes I'm on TikTok too. So thanks again for watching, and have a great day.